coming back. Okay, so you do that, your paper's like this. Last time, we had our paper folded this way. Now, we're gonna lay it where we can see our name. Make sure your name is still there. You're gonna fold it backwards where you can see the paint, okay? Now, with a dark crayon, it marker. could be, nope, you're not using a marker. It could be blue, black, purple, green, okay? Now what? Or turquoise. Okay, yes, watch what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna take this black marker, I'm gonna outline around the outside of my paint. So watch, watch what I'm gonna do. Do you see what I did? Yeah. I didn't have to go around this side because my um, paint went all the way to the edge of my paper. If yours did not go to the edge of the paper, you would keep outlining, okay? So you're just doing that one big wavy line around the outside of your painting. Then watch. Watch what we're going to do now. Hold on. Now, watch. You're going to use scissors. You're going to keep You're going to keep it folded. Everyone needs to be looking at the screen. Keep it folded. You're going to cut on that black line. Keep it folded. And cut on the black line. Okay, this goes in the trash. Now, so we have one half of our butterfly right now. If we open it up, now the left side matches the right side. And here's a big word. We're going to talk about this later this year. Here's a big word for you. That means it has symmetry. It's symmetrical. The left side matches the right side. This side is the same. Because you can see I have this little yellow shape right here. I have that yellow shape over there. The blue I line. Just see the yellow. Okay. And so it matches. So remember, you're going to fold it where the paint is on the outside. Trace around it with a dark crayon. I'm going to bring your scissors boxes to you. Okay. You're going to have to share scissors, maybe. I don't know. There might be enough. Okay, and you're cut it out. Keep it folded while you cut it out. Okay. Okay. Okay, watch. What you said it what kind of oval is it? All right. Let me see. Uh-oh. I don't think I made it big enough. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need... The scale is going to be a little bit messed up. It needs to be as big as your piece of paper. So see how I'm making it bigger now? Now watch. I'm going to cut it out. So you need to make it as big as your paper. As big as your paper. Now, I could put a few dots of glue and I could glue it on my butterfly. I could glue it. I can't, what else does my butterfly need? A head? Okay. 
Hey. All right. All right, so I just made me a little circle for my head. Okay. Now, it's not ears. It's not ears. What are they called? Antennas. Antennas. So those need to be re I'm just using my scraps. I can make me a really skinny rectangle or a thin line to make my antennas. Maybe I don't need it that big. I'm gonna fold this in half so I have two the same size. If you want to be spirals, if you can make a spiral, you can make a spiral. Okay. All right. And then you're going to put little dots of glue to glue those on. Okay. I'm not going to glue up here. Why? Right. But you're going to put little dots of glue. You don't want the glue to get on the back of your butterfly or your butterfly is going to stick to the table. Okay? Glue everything on the front of your butterfly. Any questions? No. 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 Legs? No. Butterflies don't have legs, do they? No. they have little tiny. Right. Butterflies do have legs. Here's a picture. If you want to make legs for your butterfly, you can make them. Um... We don't usually make the legs, we're just making a pretty butterfly. But if you want to make them, here are the legs. There are four long legs and two short legs. So, you taught Miss Scaling something today.